Hi, honey. Hello, baby doll. So today we're making tiramisu, but with a little bit of twist from Italy. We're making it with lemons, lemons. So our main ingredient is lemoncello from Italy. So this is our ingredients. We need powdered sugar, mascarpone, 12 egg yolks, heavy cream for the whipped cream, and then we need sugar, we need two lemons squeezed, and parvecini, lady fingers, whatever you call them, that's what we need. So we're gonna come right back. Okay, what are we doing? All right, so we got our 12 egg yolks in there. All right, I'm gonna start stirring that. So this you want to bring to a slow boil the water, then you want to put your eggs in here, then you want to put about a quarter cup of sugar inside here, and you want to bring it to like it's a frothy, uh, like oh, it's going to change color from yellow to like a whitish, but you want it to get about 158 degrees. All right, we're slowly going to do that. And this part is a little painstaking because you just got to keep on stirring. And it's going to whip up really nice. That's what bakers do. They stir. <laughs> Believe it or not, though, at the bakery, we get uh, we get the eggs, egg yolks already done. Because we're doing like, you know, 350 liters of it at a time. So it's a little painstaking. So that's how that's how we do it there. So we're going to let this go for about 10 minutes. And then uh, we'll be back with the next step, guys. Okay, honey. I got tired of doing it with my hands, so I'm using an electric one. Cheat me, don't tell nobody. Okay, honey. All right, so our mixture reached 157. So we're good. Look at that. It's all nice and frothy, look at that. That's what you want, nice consistency. Nice and frothy. We're gonna take it off our fire. I will double boiler actually. See, the water's still boiling, but we're gonna shut this down here. And this is Madeline's new toy here, the uh, induction. induction cooktop, makes I the, love makes it. Makes it a lot easier. Thank right, you, Jenna. Okay. We're gonna put up our whipped cream, guys. I got about three quarts of whipped cream in here. I'm gonna whip this up. You want this to be pretty stiff because you want it to hold up when you mix it all up. And you wanna put about a quarter of a cup. You could cheat a little bit. Sometimes I do this without sugar too. I think it tastes just as good, so. We love it. Yeah. We're back doing the same thing, but with the red mixer because I accidentally got the wrong whip. All right, honey. So we went from the whipper that we did the whipped cream with. I put the beater on now and I'm gonna soften up my mascarpone, which should be at room temperature. I know, it, I know it's still hard to take out, but we're gonna put our mascarpone in here and we're gonna Beat it up a little bit to make it a little soft, and then we're gonna combine our, I call it the zambayoni mix, our egg yolk mix to this. So Ooh. we'll be back in a few minutes when the mascarpone is soft. Okay, honey, what are we doing now? All right, so we got two fresh lemons squeezed in here. I got some sugar. I'm gonna start sifting the sugar in. Now this is an eyeball thing. I mean, you could do without liquor too. You know, if you have kids that you don't want to serve it to. You know, I've seen people heat this up and then letting it cool down. We're all adults here, so I'm using the lemoncello from Italy. Thank you, uh, La Favorita Grand Hotel in Sorrento. The owner was very nice. And I'm gonna add some uh, water to this too. Uh, the full recipe will be in uh, Family Talk and Taste, our YouTube uh, channel, so. Yeah, I'm gonna put some water in here. It's a little bit hot, the water. It's, a, it's like, it's a little bit above room temperature. And like I said, I'm gonna start tasting it. The best way to do it. Ooh, man, it's good. I'm gonna make it a little strong, you know what I'm saying? A little more sugar. This is gonna be our soaking liquid for the cookies. And I'm also gonna add a little bit in the actual mixture, just to give it a little bit of a oomph. Right, I think we're almost there, guys. Let's see. I did it with a different finger. Oh yeah. You know what, let's let Baby Doll do it. You taste it, Baby Doll. Tell me. Mmm. Good? It's delicious. All right. 
A little stronger with the liquor or no? No, and you no. know me, I don't like strong. All right, guys. Okay, we're back at the mixer. All right, so I'm gonna add my egg yolk mixture that I double boiled on the stove with the sugar, with our mascarpone. I'm gonna let this go for like, uh, probably like the two minutes. And then I'm gonna scrape it, let it go for another minute, scrape it again. So we're gonna combine everything and keep on scraping until it's all together. Okay, honey. All right, we softened up our mascarpone, we add the egg yolks, everything's nice and combined. So we're gonna stop it, we're gonna scrape down, and then we're gonna put together our lemon tiramisu. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna fold in our whipped cream. You don't really wanna do this on the mixer. I mean, you could, but you want to fold it in because you want the stuff to stay nice and fluffy. So I fold it in. I fold, scrape the edges. I fold, you know, that's how you want to do this. I mean, you could do it, like I said, on a mixer, but you don't really want to do that because you want to incorporate everything. You don't want to, like, mix it all in. Okay. It's going to add a little bit of our juice in here. Like I said, you don't really have to do this part. I just do it. Everybody just does whatever they want, but this is how I do it, me and baby doll. And it sure is good. All right. Okay. All right, so we're gonna soak up our cookies. I don't like soaking up the cookies too much. So I think it just falls apart. So it's better if you just, just dip them in and take them out. Dip them in and take them out. That's what I do. Believe me, these things are so light, like a feather, that they suck up everything. So we wanna layer our whole bottom pan just like that. Put one down the middle. Break one in half. And this is steps that we're gonna be repeating. Get in there. So I know I said I was gonna use a pastry bag, but not everybody has a pastry bag, so I'm gonna do it like this. Just gonna scoop it in, offset spatula. Spread this puppy out. And it's gonna come out nice and smooth. That's looking yummy, yum, yum. I gotta admit it does. It's gonna taste just as good. It's because you made it. And what is it made with? Love. Okay, honey. All right. There's our tiramisu. It's gonna go in the fridge for about a couple hours. You know, you want it to set. And then we're gonna eat tiramisu. All right. We got a little plate ready for my uh, baby doll here. We got whipped cream, we got strawberry. And what is that called again, that strawberry? Pineberry. Pineberry. It's white. It looks like a non matura. It's not the... Uh... I can't wait to take... Wait, but don't you got to put powdered sugar? Yeah, but I like to put the powdered sugar when it's on a plate because then oh. it dries up on oh top. Oh my God, you cut me a big piece. <laughs> or are we sharing? We're sharing. so good. All right, he's not done. That other one looks so we, good. We did all assortments today. We did like a Don't little... mind my sifter. I need a small one. I left it at the short house. Instead of cocoa, we put a little... Powdered sugar, sugar, right? Isn't he cute? Look at right. that. Put this one right over here. Right? A little limone. The zest he's using. Oh, yeah? The did. zest of a lemon. Oh, let me get you a fork, honey pie, because we're both going to taste that. All right. Here we go. Yummy, yum, yum. Okay, you go first. I gotta criticize myself. I know I said I didn't want the cookies so, but I should have soaked the cookies a little bit. I was just scared, but a little bit more. Oh, but it's delicious. Let me tell you, you could taste the mascarpone. You could taste the limoncello. It is divine. Very good. Thank you, honey. Oh. We love you.